Hi, Jim Hoffman here from the EMS Professional, and you are looking at a quick screencast of my blog over at Authorized Transmissions, and this is a post I did on one of my Monday Minutes and talking about continuing education. But what I want to do is show you how easy it is to go ahead and comment on blogs. You know, a lot of us as EMS bloggers encourage readers and listeners of our of our blog posts and podcasts to go ahead and make comments on the blogs. And this helps us really target the content that we're putting out there, helps us fine tune what you want to see, what you want to listen to uh, online. So that this way, when you visit our blogs and listen to our podcasts, you're getting the most valuable content you possibly can by taking advantage of stuff that is geared and, t and targeted to what you, the listener, or you, the reader, want to, want to hear. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, most blogs have an uh, area below the post where you can go ahead and type in your information. Some blogs have a link next to the title or at the end of the post. You can click on it that it will say something like add a comment or comment here. But most blogs will have uh, also have a nice little area here at the bottom where you can go ahead and comment. So it's going to depend upon the blogger's software platform they're using um, and the, the, the type of uh, theme they're using for their blog as well. So pretty much you would just type in your name. I encourage you to use your name. You know, as social media goes, we don't want to use handles and use nicknames. Try to use your actual name, at least your first name and last initial. And this will help us, you know, really build that social media and allow us to really get to know each other a lot more as the EMS professional, which, you know, which is important to bring the EMS industry to another level. Put in your email address. Now, this is there's nothing that anyone's going to see besides you and possibly the uh, the blogger themselves. But most bloggers don't really see the email. They just see the uh the, the the name itself now website that's up to you you can put your Facebook page in there even put your Twitter account in there which is a great way to get Twitter visitors um, and then just post a comment you can just type whatever you want positive or negative I'm sure the bloggers want to hear what you have to say so all right hey Jim great session if I can spell it right keep up the good work and that's all you really have to do just something simple you can type as much as you want or as little, little as you want and then just hit submit now what will happen is most blogging platforms and bloggers have something where they will go ahead and want to moderate that comment all that really means is that they want to make sure that the comment that you're making is valid to the post they want to make sure that it's not inflammatory to, to anybody it's not going to hurt when you anybody's feelings for anything and they want to make sure that it's something that's going to be useful to their readers so that's all that really is and most go ahead most blogs usually moderate those comments on a daily basis so it won't take too long for it to get up there now the last thing I just want to mention also another way you can help comment is most blogger, bloggers have a share type platform here and you can use a various numbers of social media platforms. most popular of course is the Facebook and Twitter where you can go ahead and share a certain blog post with your Facebook uh, followers or your Twitter followers and you can make a comment there as well to encourage people to go ahead and read or listen to that blog post which is another way you can do it and that keeps it within your own followers and your own uh, fans instead of having it on the blog the blog itself so whatever you're more comfortable with is still a great way to go ahead and get that information you know spread that information and, and let you know let the blogger know that you enjoyed reading what you saw so that's pretty much it it's like again it's very easy to do you shouldn't be intimidated or scared to go ahead and do that none of your personal information is being spread across the web or anything there's no chance to really of getting a virus or anything like that it's very easy to do and again it really helps us as bloggers you know target our content a lot more and give you the listener or the reader what you want to see and hear on the World Wide Web and in EMS 2.0. This is Jim Hoffman from the EMS Professional. As always, stay safe.